here, this is what it looks like when the gear, when the uh, organ comes into the AV. Where everything comes together before it goes to bed. It's in here about a week, 16 or seven days. So this is your 525 feet of clearance? Yep. Exactly. Well, actually, no. Some of that's going to be right. There's a double roof up there. It's about uh, 15 feet of double roof. So would they, like back in the day, would they have the whole Saturn V all here in one piece? Everything's in here. We stacked up in the high base right here. Uh-huh. You walk up, you'll be able to see them. They'll be all stacked up in here. The only part they had to take off was the escape thing. Right. Would not clear the doorway in here. Right. This here is the high, where, the, where the high base we do all the uh, processing in, okay, the, the stack of the booster stuff. You see the, the stands there? As we stack it up, and there's a there's a, a, a dummy load booster right over here on the other side. There's four of them. You could make a make one stack. There's four to a stack, two stacks. Um, as, as we stack up, we have to move in the uh, stands there, and uh, that's the way we uh, process the facility uh, there. Now back over in these high bays over here is where the uh, the tanks come in. They tell me in here. They come in from Mississippi. Park them right here. Pick them up. Put them over in the stand. And as we need them. We bring them back over here. You can't see them. They're all encased in a, in a cage over there on that side there. This still was all made by a polish truck. Did you see we got two cranes in the high bay? Got a high crane and a low crane. That's what they used to pick up the orbiter with. See that big yellow thing down in the corner? That's what they picked the orbiter up. There's four big pins about the size of a dinner plate, about 18 inches long. You screw it inside the orbiter. They pick it up four points. Up it straight vertical and then turn, turn the back frame loose. It has to hang on its tail right here for about four hours after it picks it up to get the swing out of it. And then it's turned sideways and put through the opening up here. And when it gets to the opening, they, open, they turn, turn it the other way and they let it back down. It takes about, about 24 hours from the time it leaves the floor here to the time it, it's, it's hard down on the, uh, the tank. So they don't do anything to damp the swing, they just let it? They let her sit. Four, four and a half, five hours. They've got guys down there looking at it, okay, making sure. And it's only hanging about about two feet down from the uh, floor. The whole thing. It's it's a lot of a lot of airplane hanging off. The <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they also when after hanging up there, they got guys come in here and they take a picture of each one of the tiles. Okay. That re that is there is when they get up in space, 
they take those pictures and the pictures that they put back down. There's a crew that sits out there, JSC, of about five people, and they sit one picture at a time, one tile at a time, they go, okay, that one's good, that was good, that one's good. They get a before and after picture on that. I know, my daughter was the one that does it. <laughs> How big is the photo crew that takes the photos here? Uh, about four guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not many. They just it takes it takes quite a few hours, probably about three to four hours, to photograph the whole, the whole thing. Or something, or? 